we're gonna go through a little uh, survival tip today. You're gonna need a few tools, but the main things are a potato and some and some urine. If nothing else, watching hours of the Discovery Channel has taught me that urine is really an invaluable resource. I thought it would be a little gross to actually use my own urine, so I ordered a packet of powdered urine from a lab down in Germany. It just got here today. And uh, let's let's start. Simply put the potato in the glass. And then you'll need to put in two metal prongs and then add just a little bit of the powdered urine. If this is a survival situation, you'll be using your own urine, of course. Now you can fill the glass up with warm water. You can use any USB cable and you'll need to strip the wire just like this uh, with a little bit of metal exposed. And then you'll need to tape the two ends to the cathode and the anode. So you might be saying, yeah, I learned that little trick in elementary school. But the truth is, you know, you might have done it with a potato. You might have done it with urine but you've likely never done it with both. Just to show you what I'm getting at, I'll take a multimeter and we'll go ahead and measure what voltage we're getting. It's a bit over 19 volts. It's a bit of a higher voltage. What's the big deal? Well, 19 volts is just enough to power a laptop. We'll just go ahead and plug it in straight into the USB port and ta-da, charging. One glass of this mixture should charge a full battery. So next time you're sitting at your local cafe and you happen to see somebody with a glass of urine, don't laugh. He's probably not as crazy as you think.